Hi, my name is Phil Malone and I'm here to talk to you about the new Well Ultra. For those of you who don't know, uh, I'm the designer of the original Web Energy Logger, or Well. Uh, here's the current version. Uh, this is this logger has been around for about five years. It has quite a few installations and its primary purpose was to uh, log, monitor and log a lot of temperature sensors in an energy based system. So in my case I designed this for my home which uses uh, geothermal heating and cooling, uh, several other energy systems, and I wanted a way to monitor it. Uh, I developed it initially for me, uh, and then uh, public interest uh, encouraged me to develop it as a product, and it's uh, sort of evolved to its fourth version here. And its real, its real strength is it can monitor a lot of temperature points without uh, adding additional cost. Uh, it's very configurable. The design is based on uh, letting the, the end user configure the logging, configure the network, configure the display screens. Everything is highly configurable. But what I want to talk today about is the new Well Ultra OEM. Um, this is the new unit. As you can see, it's considerably smaller than the original unit, and it has a very different application. The targeted user for this new device is an equipment manufacturer or OEM, um, who wants to incorporate the functionality of the Web Energy Logger into their own equipment. So instead of having a box that is external to the unit and is wired up uh, differently for every installation, this unit is designed to be installed inside the equipment, uh, probably as part of the actual controller board for the equipment, and it's designed to be uh, easily configurable once, then easy to replicate for multiple installations and ultimately uh, easy to um, replace if need be, replace sensors, uh, basically a drop-in installation. I guess plug and play would be the old way of saying it. Um, so that's the key difference. Very configurable, very standardized. So let's talk about some of the key features of the new Well Ultra. And the other, the, the more specific name for this device is the Ultra OEM because it's designed for own equipment manufacturers. So some of the key features, obviously the form factor is different. This unit is as small as I could possibly get it to enable it to be plugged into an existing controller. <clears throat> the interfaces on the unit are a series of two uh, pin headers on 0.1 inch spacings. So uh, a, someone who wanted to use this could either just put two rows of holes in their circuit board or they could put uh, two header strips that would enable the unit to plug right in on top. Uh, you can see that the unit, this unit here, um, has an Ethernet connector on it. Uh, the main CPU and processor is provided by a small module that is plugged on top of my board. It's also from the Digi family, uh, like my original unit, uh, except it's the latest generation. It is faster, it has more memory, it uh, is pretty clever. Um, this unit, <coughs> this particular board that I have on here, is the uh, 6710, which has the Ethernet connector on board. Uh, this unit can also be installed with the 6700, which has um, uh, signals coming off the connector to pins on the board so that you can put the uh, Ethernet connector on your actual carrier board. So that way you can position it more suitably for your particular installation. It's worth noting that there's an equivalent member of this family, uh, the 6600, uh, which is a dual Ethernet and Wi-Fi version. Uh, we don't have software for that yet, but that's our next target application so that you can eliminate the hardware connection and go purely Wi-Fi. The next thing that's different uh, or a key feature of the uh, Well OEM, the Well Ultra, uh, is that the original unit has one uh, fairly uh, robust uh, one wire network uh, on it. And this is uh, to enable you to have a very diverse, very wide topographical network of one wire temperature sensors or, or other sensors. The Ultra, instead of doing this, has eight independent one wire lines on it. And this has enabled me to modify the software so that instead of requiring you to pre-identify and configure each sensor individually, uh, the individual, the eight lines can be used um, in such a way that does not require you to ID the sensors. So in this system you can add perhaps six or seven temperature sensors to the unit and based on where you hook them up to the unit that automatically identifies them. So you can easily change modules, you can interchange software, you can interchange sensors without having to do any pre-configuration. Um, this is going to be a major time saving for anyone interested in doing a, a volume installation of this kind of equipment. <clears throat> Uh, the uh, Ultra also has four uh, run pulse inputs. 
Uh, that's basically a, a digital input uh, designed to hook up to a contact closure or open collector output. It uh, can act as either a pulse counter or a run uh, input. Uh, the software will do both simultaneously so you can not only count uh, how many times the pump turns on, but you can monitor how long it's on and whether it's on you know, at the moment. That's very useful. And they are straight contact closure inputs. Uh, the Ultra also has two uh, optically isolated inputs on it which enable you to hook up to low voltage AC control signals. For example, a thermostat or a uh, HVAC control line. Uh, you can do that without any fear of damaging the Ultra circuitry. The Ultra also has two analog inputs. Uh, they will take a voltage, a DC voltage, in the range of 0 to 3.3 volts. Uh, that's based on the circuitry on the board. Uh, if you need to monitor a voltage higher than that, you would just have to add some conditioning circuitry, a resistor divider network, or something like that, outside of the unit. The final interface on the Ultra is uh, two uh, channels of optically isolated um, solid state relay outputs. Uh, they are moderate voltage, they will work up to 60 volts at, a, at uh, 500 milliamps, so they can be used to control external circuitry, perhaps uh, drive a larger relay or an indicator light or something like that. Uh, the software is set up so that uh, you can set conditions inside the software that based on sensor values it can uh, enable these outputs. Uh, the outputs will not necessarily be a standard feature on all of the well uh, ultras, it's a little bit adds a little bit more expense, so it will probably be an option that can be uh, used uh, for a slight upcharge. So, if you're excited about the potential of the uh, Well Ultra and how it might be included in your own equipment, the obvious question is, well, how can I try this out? How can I uh, use the new software to experiment with this? And so, what I've done is I've created a development module. This is the Ultra Dev, and all it is really is a means to apply power to the uh, the Ultra and get access to the connections. And so if you wanted to experiment, you would get this, uh, the Ultra Dev Kit, which includes this power supply, some sensors, and you can uh, configure this, uh, try it out, run it, set up your installation. The, <clears throat> the way the deployment of the Ultra will work is that you will uh, establish a standard configuration. So you'll build up one of these units, you'll configure it, you'll configure your charting, you'll configure whatever you want, that then goes into a master folder and every subsequent Ultra that you uh, install, the first thing it does is it downloads updated software, then it downloads its own installation configuration. So there's no need to configure individual Ultra modules. And they will essentially clone themselves from the master uh, that's on file on the central server. So that uh, really should take away hours of configuration time. So the only final thing to say is if you have more questions about this, uh, uh, the best way to do uh, to find out more is to visit the website. Uh, this, if you go to wellserver.com/oem, then uh, it will take you to the Ultras OEM page where there are downloads and content information. Thanks very much. Hope you're excited as, about this as I am. Uh, it should make it uh, very easy to add uh, remote access, uh, data logging, uh, inside window views into equipment of all types. Thanks very much.